Me and Baby's been to the gun shop. That's actually Beeb's um, 2 2, and that's her spring one. And we've just been to the gun shop now to pick up some pistols, and I've got a rifle as well. So expect reviews coming out for this is the Crossman 1077 there. It's the freestyle version. This is Boob's revolver, but also mine. So I've done the um, already the full video on that. Boob has just bought the Umarex SA10, and I've just got the Six Hour P226 as well, both in 177. Or I think this one takes both, doesn't it? It does take both. Yeah, yeah 4.5 normal BBs as well, normal BB, BBs. Yeah. So we're gonna go over there, do a little unboxing, take the mags out, show you what's what, get some CO2 out, and just have a little. A little play in the garden as a teaser, but then expect full reviews slash gun plays and stuff like that from me and Beeb on our separate channel. So head over to Beeb one up vlogs, boys, because she's what got she, you got an ammo box. It's and proper metal and all. But like yeah, that. we just come out of the gun shop absolutely at arms and teeth, which is cool. So summer's coming. We've got some toys. Um, yeah, I've got a scope to set up and everything like that. I've got a laser sight coming as well going on there. So we'll set up the tripod. We'll have a little talk and then. Uh, We'll go outside and just have some fun for a few minutes. Oh, that's gonna be good. As soon as you did the bum thing, start recording. So all this is on. <laughs> so I just wanted to see if he's in the shot, but that's so going in. <laughs> Everybody. All right, guys. So we started doing airgun <laughs> stuff on the, the channel, and we've been using. Well, I've already done this epic review, so if you need to see what this is, the Crossman Vigilante One Seven Seven. We've done a full review on that, which is sick. We've just been to the air shop. This is just a little a little plain, a little unboxing. Um, and then me and Beeb are gonna go out and play some targets. She's got a nice little Nighthawk target there, which is a pellet catcher as well. Quite solid, you just fold them in there, and then boom, easy peasy. Um, we're gonna be reviewing that on the channel. That's Beeb's 2-2 Springer, and she'll probably be doing all that sort of stuff on her channel as well. I just got the six hour P226 177 CO2 blowback pistol. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> and B, we've got the SA-10, which is a semi-automatic air pistol as well that fires BBs or pellets. So we're just going to take them out of the box, show you the magazine, show you how to put the CO2 in, and we're going to go outside and shoot some rounds out of them. And if you want a full review with all the, the statistics and the boring stuff, and also the epic stuff, different targets and uh, some sick music, and that we'll be doing that as well. So. Let's, uh, let's crack into these and have a little look, shall we? So, Beeb's just been and got this. Ooh, you're doing it that way. Let's go, there baby. There she be. Oh, <laughs> just some light oh, come out of it. But that, that, this is Comes it. with a probe. So how much did this cost you? Uh, 150. 150 quid on the box. Which isn't actually too bad. Um, it's got a little button on the side there that you push. That mag. Brings out the mag. It is so and then good. you have the main one at the top there and three there as well. So you just pull them out and replace them and then obviously CO2 in that bit. How many shots is it per mag, do you know? Mm, is it eight? Two, four, six, eight! Nice. <laughs> nice. And they're literally in there. Like Shots that. are good then. Safety's like, because it's brand new, is a little bit stiff, but safety is literally just that bit there. Um, and then yeah, it's obviously gas blowback as well, but I've got nothing in at the minute. But that is sick, isn't it? Look that at is it! Sick. And a threaded barrel as well for... Um, so yeah, you can literally unscrew this and put on a suppressor, suppressor or whatever. Like that. Yeah, and yeah. you've got the, uh, I think, weaver rail underneath that you can put the yeah. laser sight on and stuff like that. Which is pretty cool. Three, two, one, and action! Hey guys, how's it going? No, right. <laughs> Right, six hour time, P226. This is an absolute, I'll tell you, this weighs an absolute ton compared. So, this is it, this is all you get in there. This was 160 quid, so 159.99 GPP. Um, and then this is, it's full metal, it's amazing. It honestly feels so sick. So, you've got the rail under there for the laser sight. You've got the uh, threaded barrel there as well. And then we've got the mag system there. So, this is the mag system. And basically, you can load both ends. I think it's eight or ten shots, so you'll have your shots in there. And then if you pop it out, spin it around, and then pop it back in, and you get your shots again. This is also full gas, uh, yeah, gas blowback, CO2. You've got the safety there, which is quite easy. So red is ready to fire, and then down is safe. And then for the CO2 system in this, you just press a button at the back, lid pops out, slide in your CO2 canister, Click, good to go basically. Safe off, and then pow pow. So yeah, we're gonna go in the garden now. We're gonna shoot some uh, rounds at this um, thing. Check out how loud they are. Uh, we're gonna have a little SA10 
versus the P226 comparison and see which we one prefer. Put in the comments as well because honestly, we are so it's stuck. It's a close call at above, isn't it? We yeah. are so stuck on this. This one is an eye pleaser, honestly. This one feels amazing. That one's really heavy, yeah. I'm really stuck, but we'll go outside, we'll have a few shots anyway. Right, so here's Beep and she's got her SA10 and we're gonna load in the CO2 now. So she's gonna eject the mag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want me to do it now. Yeah. Oh, dear. And then are you loading up all the pallets as well? All into all of them? Uh, I'll probably just do one off now. Yeah, drop it in. If it doesn't fit, give it another screw. In there. Yeah, let's, uh, so what we do is we're going to bring your CO2 out again. You just put a bit on the end here. And then with your finger, just rub it around the edge like that. Try not to get too aroused. Rub the nipple. It's just, uh, save your seals then. So pop it in. That's it. And then do it up tight-ish. You can always dry fire the weapon to see if it's... Keep going. That's it. That's the hiss of happiness. <laughs> right, that, now that you're good oh, now. That's, that's you are good, yeah. Enough, yeah. So you slot that in there and you're going to put the pellets in. And then I'll just show you the target we've got set up. So just down here we're only shooting about a range of five metres in there. So we'll get Beep to fire the SA-10 first. We'll get her to fire like whatever it was, eight rounds. And then we'll we'll check the out the box accuracy. So going in like that, pellets facing forwards, and stick it on there like that. And you can do that one, two, three more times. Beep's just filling one up now. Okay. There we go. She's got safe on, so she's gonna turn and face it. We'll get the uh, we'll get a fire in it, get the blow back, and then we'll go check what she's done on the target there. So I reckon about five meters. Well, yeah, a little bit right. Oh, yeah, okay, nice. Nice, go for it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Give it some. I think the trigger pulls a bit of poundage. Nice. Straight in the back of the thing. Can you hear it dinging? There you oh, go. Yeah, look. Bottom left. So you've had three shots. What you had? One, two. Nice. Nice. You're aiming for the middle there? Yeah. Alright, I think you're out. Pop yeah, the mag out and have a check. We well, got one two. left in, there, two left in there. Pop it in, give it a fire then. Oof, nice. That was top left black. Okay, that's it. So, beebs on the SA10. So about a five meter range, you can see there. She's got an eight, a seven, a five, a three, and a one there. One, two, three, four, five, six there, and two unaccounted for where she was just getting used to the trigger a little bit because that's a hard trigger pull, yeah? It, and that's your first time firing. It basically, so. it pulls really soft. Until you get to and it. And you think it's going to pull, point. but then there's like, oh, there's more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good, though. So let's, uh, let's load up the P226 and then have a, a little go with that one. Are we on? Are we live? Yeah, we're live. With life of Beep Co. <laughs> uh, so let's get this bad boy loaded up. I'm going to do the mags there and we're going to put the CO2 in as well. So we are already on safe the CO2. We're just going to get a bit of that sweet lubage. And we're just going to squeeze it around there a little bit, keep your seal safe. Pop that in like that and there's no screw on mine. Oh, God, it's a bit of pressure. That was, wasn't it? Damn, yeah, it's probably hard to push in. That took me by surprise. I thought it was going to pop, but that's in now, and you heard the hiss, so it's good and it's ready to fire. First time firing this, Beebs, first time firing that. Um, yeah, so let's get the gun loaded up. Safe sign on that. Oh, I see, so yours are actually like, they're already inside that black mechanism. So mine, they actually come out, don't they? Like Yeah, so I load mine like you would a mag. Yeah. But you've got, like, you've got four bloody goes in there, so you pull yours out. In and then safe sign at the minute. We've got new target, stand by beep stud. And then when you do that, the red means you're ready to fire. And then finger on the trigger when you're ready to fire. And go up, we're in iron sights at the minute. Alright, we're good. You just literally full on went for that. You didn't even like slowly do it. All right, so the blowback actually is the first time I felt something like that because I did with the Crossman Vigilante, you haven't got a blowback. You got the hammer action, you got a double action trigger. 
So when you're using the trigger, it's like click, click, but the double action chum, boom, ch is really smooth. The blowback does give it, it a bit of it, wobble. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So as you notice, first couple of shots straight through center, and the rest of them went a bit low there. So I'm going to have to try and keep that straight when firing. But yeah, it's all in the direct line. It's just where it's going to go. So that it was, was just up and down. Wasn't but problem, yeah. overall, these are pretty sick. Obviously, got to get some practice in. What are we at? Five, six meters there. But awesome feel. Proper heavy. Got a really good blowback action. And I'm, I'm so impressed with the build quality. I'm going to be getting a laser sight on this at some point and uh, zeroing it in. But yeah, me and Bib are just going to have a few rounds now and have a bit of fun with it. And then uh, we'll catch you for a proper full on review, man. Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so sick, man. So both firing bang in the middle there, aiming, we all got, we peppered the absolute bottom bit. So we're just going to aim at this top bit and see if we'll get it all in there. Mainly through the black there, slash a massive hole we've made in the middle there. So. I mean, you're looking at this from that sort of range on me. I'll tell you the size of one of my boobs, man. So <laughs> that's me and Beeb. That's <laughs> got, got my impressive chest. Um, so yeah, me and Beeb rocking and rolling SA10 PT26. Stay tuned for the channel for some more stuff, and we'll see you next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I think the girls with their nails done.